Okay, welcome back students. And at this part of the video is, as you can see on the screen, the title is Calculating Molar Mass. And for today, we are going to have this sample problem. Now, the problem is calculate the molar mass for carbon dioxide. Now, for our next slide, take note that we are going to solve this problem. Calculate the molar mass of carbon dioxide. Now, do not forget that we are going to follow the steps. Now, take note of the following steps. First step, you have to write down each element. Now, for our given problem, the elements are carbon and the, sim the symbol is letter C and oxygen and that is letter O. Now for our second step, identify the number of atoms or atom of each element and for our given problem, carbon has one and oxygen we have two atoms of oxygen. Now the third step, you have to multiply the number of the atom of the element by its atomic mass. Now, for carbon, kind of look at your periodic table of elements. The atomic mass of carbon is, okay, that is 12.01 grams per mole. While for the oxygen, that is 16.00 grams per mole. And take note, since carbon has one and oxygen has two, you have to multiply this by its atomic mass. Okay, now let's continue. Now, since we are done identifying the number of atoms and after multiplying this with their atomic mass, now you have to get the sum of carbon and oxygen. So we have here 12.01 grams per mole plus 32.00 grams per mole. So therefore, the total molar mass for carbon dioxide is 44.01 grams per mole. Now, at this moment, it's now your turn. You have to calculate now the molar mass for each of the following substances. First is the sulfur trioxide. Next is water. Then table sugar. And then the last would be ammonia. The chemical formulas are all given here. So all you have to do is to go back to your elements course. And all you have to do is to answer the given problem okay, on the screen, of course. And all you have to do is to review the steps. You're going to follow the steps in calculating the molar mass. Then submit your output or your solutions with answer on our elements and do not forget to use your periodic table of elements scientific calculator and your science journal okay enjoy bye